Greetings everyone, I go by the name of Nompumulerum Daum and I am studying Bachelor of Social Science. I am a very active book club member in the Neville Alexandra Library and today I am joined by a beautiful lady on my right. Greetings everybody, my name is Asisi Pokwanga Ngwameni and I am a student at the University of Free State. I am currently studying Bachelor of Agriculture and I am also a, a very active member of the Neville Alexandra Book Club. Thank you. So today, as we end off Women's Month, we're ending it with a bang. Today, we are about to review the book called Call Me Woman by Ellen Kuzwayo. So today, as Isipo, I'll be questioning you about this book. Are you excited like I am? <laughs> Thank you. So firstly, how does the author portray the main female characters in the book? Um, the, main the main female characters of this book are portrayed as a source of wonder. And they are portrayed as women of tenacious courage and strength. And actually, the, the, the author of the book is also a main female character of the book. She is a woman of commendable strength and dignity. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay. What themes are related in the book are related to women's man? Um, the theme of equality for all, which um, is basically the equality between both sexes. Um, the theme of Women's, one, of Women's Month is um, equality today for a better tomorrow. So that actually perpetuates the, sp the spirit of equality be between both sexes. But and, and like no one is inferior here, both women and, and men are, are, are both capable, you know. Yeah. I also funny. noticed a stance of patriarchy in the yes, book. Yes, That is very interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is the book set in a specific historical period? Yes. Actually, the book is, is, is set in the early 1900s to actually the late 1900s, those 1910s to 1984s. Yes. And if you if you recall, that time for South Africa, that time was a, a time of oppression. Um, and women had not to, to, to not only emancipate themselves from that, that oppression, but they also had to emancipate themselves from the rigid societal expectations that were put upon them. You know, they had to, 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 to prove that they are, own, they are their own people and they are, and they are very much capable, yes. Does it shed light on challenges and trends during that time? Yes, of course. Um, women actually become victors. And in the chapter, chapter 16 of this book called Miners Become um, Heroines, um, women become actually become educated, whereas for generations, um, education was not public was not actually a, a, a choice for women. They 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 were not they were blatantly denied education by their parents. So um, they studied, they 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 delved into sciences and and proved themselves by actually surfacing and, and, and emerging as female doctors, um, black female uh, actors, nurses, you know, you, you name it. Oh, that is a very interesting approach. Okay, how does the book address issues and challenges experienced by women in society? Um, the book addresses those um, challenges at the height of the struggle against this oppression that I've mentioned. Um, it is mentioned that um, because women were now being um, challenging their male counterparts and mm -hmm. um, the male counterparts felt threatened and therefore that perpetuated gender-based violence there is they they they, um, they 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 showed their 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 uncomfortability to this change by inflicting pain to this woman who were trying to emancipate themselves, to liberate themselves from patriarchy, patriarchal societies and these rigid societal expectations, yeah. By by inflicting pain, I'm assuming you mean you highlighting GPV. Yeah, gender-based violence, yes. I did notice while, while I was reading this book that GPV is in chapter 11 where Ellen was um, experiencing GPV in her first marriage. Yes. It's saddening. It's really, really saddening. It's infuriating. What do you mean saddening? It's infuriating. Oh. Okay, then next, 
Does the story highlight unique experiences and challenges women experience? Yes. Patriarchy and and unequal power relations. Although these are these are not as prominent as they were before, but they are still there. And they are very much highlighted in this book because um women were not given as much power given to men that is given compared to the one that is given to men that is how it is highlighted and patriarchy was very very prominent back then and you know the the man was the head of the family and the men decided what and what not even even regarding the the the, the family's existence itself women had no say so i feel like even today and even in diverse backgrounds um women still experience patriarchy and 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 unequal power relations yeah okay so does the book incorporate feminist theories or ideologies yes um the ideology of gender stratification and working to 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 emancipate um equal power relations yes those are the two feminist ideologies that actually come up in this book a lot because um women in this book are evidently fighting for their voices to be heard you know for to, to go to be their ability to go into the corporate world if i may say and yeah i feel like those two ideologies are, are incorporated in the book in the story mm-hmm. While I was reading the book, I noticed a solidarity ideology. Yeah. Because, for instance, looking at the 9 August march, when they marched to the Union building, Mm -hmm. you could see the impact that when women stand together in solidarity, a lot can happen. A a lot can happen. And the (laughs) Watinta Bafazi. It was very much active and practical. Yes. You could see the power of a woman. Yes. Okay. Um. On our next question, are there instances of women challenging traditional gender roles or social experiences? Of course, there are very many instances. Um, The first one is where women moved from rural areas where they were under the the circumstances of drought, um, poverty, because their males had to, their male counterparts had to come to the the industries to work. And then women also had to come because there was there was poverty. They were hungry. They needed they needed they needed to survive. So they came here. They came to the to industries. They yeah. they relocated. They migrated. And when they got to the to these places like for instance Soweto, women became Skokian queens. And by the meaning of Skokian, the meaning of Skokian queens is actually um women brewing alcohol. Mm. And that was very much shunned upon. Because what, 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 how can a woman be an alcohol brewer? And that for me was where a woman defied societal expectations and traditional gender roles. They actually fought for survival and, Mm. and yeah. And there are very many other instances where she got divorced, where she got, you know, where they got educated. Yeah. And they always paint us that we are strong, independent women. In the in a man in a bad manner of not needing men, yet that's not the case. This we just want to be heard. Yes, we just yes. want to be seen and put in positions where we are able to showcase our. Ability. Yeah, to show that we're not lazy and unintelligent. What? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, then how does the book resonate with contemporary issues? Contemporary issues. Isn't that isn't that GPV? It could be. It could be. I noticed there was a hashtag on Twitter, Me Too, where th- most of the ladies were highlighting that I was also a victim, but because I had no voice to voice myself out, I couldn't exactly say. Plus, whenever you point out at a later stage, you are mm-hmm. called out and said, why only now? Well, um, in this book, um, GBV, if the contemporary issue GBV is um, highlight- highlighted, because I mentioned earlier that men, when men felt inferior and then exerted force, mm. they 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 became violent, and 
that is how the 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 spirit of cheap gender based violence was was perpetuate, perpetuated and also another contemporary issue is illiteracy right towards women and by now and now it is it is very much you know the number is dwindling and compared to 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 to, to back then and women fought for the for the education that they had that we have today and they 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 they, they grew a tree so that we this generation of women could sit under it's shade. It's shade. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love your closing argument. So do you think the book has the potential to inspire or educate others? Yes. In what? Manner? Yes. For me, it inspired me. When I read it, it inspired me. It, it told me. It actually told me that I'm capable. Mm. And, and, and and if I'm set, if I'm dedicated, then there's nothing can stop me. If those women could in such... Um, um, extraordinary disabilities than what is stopping me, mm. you know, because they were like pioneer species, species for me, you know, and they paved, they sort of paved the way for me so that like I can, if they could. I can, I can. <laughs> and you definitely can, looking at the opportunities that we have now. Now we're looking up to great, great women that it's very much possible. You just have to put your mind to it. Yeah, extraordinary. <laughs> yes. Are there any supportive or empowering relationships in the book? Oh my God. Her relationship with her father, her stepfather, actually. Mm -hmm. So, um, as I have mentioned before, that um, girl children were blatantly denied education, were blatantly, blatantly denied, um, you know, some sort of any sort of power yeah. given to them. They were only allowed to study domestic science and, and all of that. So her father actually took her to conferences. That's where um, her political passion was 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 established, was cultivated, if if I may say. And he took her to these conferences. He allowed her to grow. He allowed her a chance to go to school. Even though back then it was it was shunned upon to give a girl child education, but her stepfather, you know, defined defied all odds, yeah. defied all odds. Yeah. Mm. I I also noticed that her stronghold and her support structure was her mother as well. Yeah. Because she also had the power to say, "Nope, you are following this stance. This is how it has been, yes. and this is how it shall be." Mm -hmm. But then I feel like her mother noticed her resilient energy. And she was extremely supportive throughout. Yeah, throughout. Even even when she when she left for college, her mother was very supportive of that. That even though we, we were not educated, you go you go you get edu educate. get education. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> what did you personally take away from the book in the context of Women's Month? Courage, mm. if I could say courage. This book gave me courage. This is like, take that, take that stance. You know, believe in what you believe in. Do you reach out? There are still, you know, there are still um, societal expectations even now mm -hmm. for us as girls. And this book gave me the courage to actually defy them. You know, to be like, no, I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna do this actually. And yeah. It's courage. For me, it's courage. I personally take away courage from, from, from this entire book. I take away resilience, you know, and never conceding. Yeah. I resonate with that, actually, because it made me understood understand that we are not meant to be coffee makers, cleaners. Yeah. It can be more than that. Mm -hmm. Whatever you put your mind to, you, you can actually do it. Just because you're a female doesn't mean yeah, yeah. you do not have access to places. We're no. just as capable. We're just yeah. as capable. Yeah. Extremely. Okay, lastly, I would want to ask this question. Um, would you recommend this book as a meaningful read? Yes. Why? This book is actually a window. I I, I, I am referring it to a window because it actually takes you through the struggles, you know, of women for for the liberation that we actually have today it actually takes you through um the pain 
the, 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 the relentlessness, you know, you actually go through the emotions when you're reading this book because it's, 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 it's told as though you are here experiencing everything. You go through the emotions, you feel what they feel, you touch what they touch. You will, you see? Yeah. Yes. Um, it, okay. I have a little sister. Mm -hmm. So would would it be wise for me to give her this book, even in the cruciveness that is written in the book in terms of GPV? Well, you can't shield her f away from GPV forever. At some point, she's going to encounter that. Not that she will, but at some point she might encounter that. So I believe you can give her this book, you know, and, and tell, uh, it will show her that she is capable. She can, she can, she can make a difference. She can be heard. It's, it is it is within her right to be heard. Yeah. We live in a society, but then it looks promising. It looks, it's, promising. It, it looks very promising. To what it was, mm -hmm. it's very promising. It's very it's very promising. You know, women are, are still in the struggle even today, and we are still, you know, trying to emancipate ourselves from certain things like sexual liberation and 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 you know gbv yeah okay that is it from us guys thank you so much for tuning in i would really recommend that you read this book to be enlightened about the challenges that women went through and what difference we can make in the future so that History does not repeat itself. We need a strong society of solidarity instead of a divide and conquer society as women and as men that do not want to promote patriarchy. Thank you. Hi.